Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from the cook's own, being a complete culinary encyclopedia comprehending all valuable receipts for cooking meat, fish, and fowl, and composing every kind of soup, gravy, pastry, preserves, essences, etc., that have been published or invented during the last 20 years, published in 1832 by a Boston housekeeper, we're going to be making the sandwich for travelers. First thing we gotta do is make some mustard, so equal parts mustard and cold water. Mix that together, and we let it stand for 10 minutes. While the mustard's making, we go ahead and lightly butter thin slices of bread. Now we're supposed to add either beef or ham that has been cut into, quote, minute particles. Now we add on our mustard, and yes, it says to put it on top of the meat. It says to cut it into fourths. Now the reason they cut it into fours is they would then wrap it in a paper and then uh, bust it out while they were traveling and eat it. And clearly it's meant as sort of like a tea sandwich or a snack, not a sandwich sandwich, but hey, I'm here for it. All right, let's give this sandwich for travelers a go. The mustard has quite a kick, which is awesome. Um, but then you've got the fat of the butter that's kind of helping to tamp that down a little bit. This is a tasty little snack. <laughs> That said, I do want to plus it up just a little bit. I'm going to add some Swiss cheese. Then I'm going to toast it. Okay, let's give this traveler sandwich plussed up with a little Swiss cheese and give it a little toast. There we go. I'm getting nuttiness from the Swiss cheese. It's playing off the mustard, playing with the ham, the crunch of the toast. And I recognize that if you're traveling back in 1832, you would not have the ability to just pop this in a toaster oven. But the plus ups are rooted in trying to make a sandwich more palatable to my modern sensibilities, more so than trying to be historically accurate. So well, I gotta say the sandwich for travelers, despite being very few ingredients, was actually quite tasty. The ham, the sharp mustard, the butter and the bread. I thought that was pretty good for like a tea sandwich, snack sandwich. It's like a six and a half, uh, maybe even seven. Plus up a little uh, Swiss cheese and then toast it in the toaster oven. That's like an eight. That is delicious. I am definitely going to finish that. And I mean, let's face it, I'll make a ham and cheese again and put it in the toaster. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow. <laughs>